Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Chris there. I'm an Ableton Certified Trainer. And it has come to my attention that not all you guys out there know and appreciate the majesty and beauty of the templates folder right here, which is one of the new features in Live 11. Uh, this has a couple really unique characteristics to it that I want to explore to make sure you guys are getting the most out of your templates and start using this folder if you're not already. Before we dive into that, I do want to let you know if you are enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I greatly appreciate it. So if we're just right now, we're just sitting in the default template. But if I go over here to the templates folder, it's going to have a bunch of pre-made Ableton templates in there. You can also save your own templates into this folder if you'd like to. And the way you do that is you're going to go to your user library. There's going to be a folder called templates in here, and that's where you're going to save it. So if you want to make your own, you want to start having like a mixing template and a production template and a mastering template and a DJ template and all the templates you need, you can save them all in right here. And they'll automatically pop up in here in this section of your browser. So the important and distinct feature in the templates folder that makes it really unique is that let's say I open up this DJ template. It's an older DJ template that I made. When I open this up, if this existed in any other folder on my computer, if I hit save for the first time, it would override the template that's already there. However, if it's starting in this templates folder, check out what it says at the top here. It just says untitled. It's treating this as a brand new project that has not been saved yet, which means when I hit Command S to save this for a first, the first time, it's going to ask me where I want to save that and what, what I want to save it as. So that means I don't accidentally override my template. That's it. That's the whole thing here. That's what makes this so magical, and it's really, really useful. If you've ever had a situation where you did have lots of templates before, you could accidentally override a template by just hitting the Command S button accidentally. So that's what this does. Anything, any project file, any .ls file that is saved inside your templates folder, it's going to ask you what you want to save it as, as opposed to just overriding your template. Really, really cool feature. It's not immediately obvious. This is a new feature in Live 11. If you are still using Live 10, you actually still have access to this as a feature. And the way you're going to do this is go to your user library. You're going to just right click in here and hit new folder and then name that new folder templates. I don't know if it needs to be capitalized or not. You can try it out and let me know. Um, but just make a folder, call it templates, and then save your .ls file in here. You won't get this extra area of the browser, but it'll still function exactly the same way. When you open something up from this templates folder, it will open up as untitled rather than the name of that project. So that's kind of the idea here. Uh, just a real quick run through of how the templates folder works. I'm going to have another video coming down the pipeline real soon. That's going to be a more in-depth look at like how to build a template and what to start looking for as you're putting together your, your production template. That's going to be a longer video that will come in in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. But until then, as you're working on your templates and kind of building these things out, use the templates folder. It's really, really handy. Try it out for yourself. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching.